Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to show you all this property today and mainly I'm so excited because it's really special to me. So one of the followers on the channel reached out to me and asked me if I would do a tour on their home. So I am so excited to do this and we are in fabulous McKinney, Texas. So I haven't shown y'all anything in McKinney so that makes this even more special. This house is a grand home, so they are a really, really great builder out here in Texas. I get a lot of people ask me about them, and that's because so many of their regular finishes are just above what other builders are doing. So this home has over $200,000 worth of upgrades. You're gonna see it as we walk through. It's 4,487 square feet. We've got four bedrooms, four bathrooms. Every bath is a full bath, so that's not something that you're commonly gonna see. It is a very, very overcast day today, and you can see how much natural light is coming into this house. So that's one of the things that stood out to me right away. But we are in this beautiful, great room. I have got a fireplace right here off to my right, which goes all the way, we've got tile all the way to the ceiling. I always wanna point this out because it is such a special feature to go all the way to the ceiling. You'll see a lot of houses where they just kinda of cut it off halfway. I know it's more expensive, but when you're doing a custom house like this, go ahead and take it all the way to the top because it really does make such a show-stopping piece. And then right behind us is the kitchen, so I wanna start here first. So with this kitchen, I've got a beautiful, long, big, wide island that's got a waterfall edge, so I love this. This is a quartz countertop. It looks a lot like concrete, and so some of those like natural materials, I love to see that because it just brings like a lot of warmth into the house. We've also got a commercial grade KitchenAid range, six burners with the griddle. We've got our lovely pot filler, which you know I love, and also a commercial grade vent hood. So very, very unique just to have this high end and big stuff. So if you're a cook, anything like that, this is perfect. Also wanna point out they have double dishwashers in this house, which is again, you've got big, big family gatherings, you've got a lot of dishes. You can get everything done at the same time. You don't have to have any dirty dishes in the sink. I also have got a full walk-in pantry right behind me too, which again, that's a big deal for Texas. People are expecting to see a pantry. So if you're doing a custom home, please do not forget to have a walk-in pantry. It's super important. And then in here, you can see I have this beautiful modern pendant lighting. This is a space really for a very oversized, big dining table. This is where you're gonna have your big family gatherings, your big meals. This space is perfect for it. It's long, you can get stuff on both sides. We also have a window seat, so you could cushion that and make that part of your table seating, or you could just keep it as a window seat, but love this space here. And then, I think we just get right to it. Let's go get to the bread and butter of this house, which is the primary bedroom here. So walking into our primary bedroom, you can see that the current owner has already put the pendant lightings up, so you kind of know exactly how you're gonna face your furniture. You've got your bed here, you've got kind of your nightstands here, and then the real money maker of this, which is my favorite part of this house, is the bathroom. So you all know I love a tub, because I probably have said it in every single video, but this has an absolutely beautiful, freestanding tub, and something that I haven't seen very much, which is this frameless, shower. So there's a beautiful frameless shower right behind us here. We've got Delta faucets on every single bathroom. This house also has pre-wired lighting behind these mirrors and then beautiful, beautiful finishes. So vessel sinks in every single bathroom. We also have tile floor to ceiling all the way around every single bathroom. So while this layout is a very custom, like a very common layout for grand homes, the finishes and choices that these owners made are very, very custom. So this is kind of the extra stuff that you can get when you spend a little bit more money doing a custom home. We also have a full walk-in closet right behind us. Plenty of space for everyone's clothes to fit. And then we are gonna go back to the front of the house. And we've got a little bit of fun stuff there. So this house leaves you, while they did make all of the selections very specific to their taste, you do have a lot of ability to kind of use your own ideas, be creative in what to do with some of this space in the front. So I wanna show you all that really quick. So right off of the entryway, we've got a space right here. So the current owners really kind of envision this as being a dining area, but I see it as using like as a second living area or also a second office. So this could have been a garage, but they decided to make it into an office space. It is a really, really big office. So with most of us working from home these days, this is perfect as an extra office space. And a lot of people don't have three garages or need for three garages. So it's a nice thing to have, but you know if you have more space, 
you collect more stuff and that's probably what's gonna go in the garage. So I love that they made this an office because it really just is a really good use of the space. Behind us again, like through this other room, I would make this a second office. So, so many people working from home, you've got more than one person who needs to have a dedicated office space. I could see this as that space as well, but really you could do whatever you want with it. So it's a really good flex space here at the very front of the house. And then right across the hall, we have a downstairs bedroom with a full bath. So this is perfect for your guests. If you kind of have multi-generational living, you need just some extra space when people maybe are getting older or even you have like little kids that you don't want to jump going up the stairs. Here's another little space for your guests downstairs. So love this. We've also got our laundry on the first floor, which is gonna be right off of the entryway. And then upstairs, we got a lot more to see, so let's go up there. All right, so the entire floor downstairs that you guys saw, I believe it, beep, beep, beep. So downstairs, we have got these beautiful natural wood floors. On this staircase, they've got white oak floors. So the difference there is only that they've stained the floors downstairs. They added a little bit of pop of color. So that beautiful blue cabinet that you saw in the kitchen, you're getting some of that in those floors downstairs. But I absolutely love that they kept these stairs, that natural, beautiful white oak. So, so good. What a perfect choice. And then what I am really obsessed with and probably what caught my eye the most when I first saw this house is this beautiful spiral staircase that's at the center of the house. So it's such a show-stopping piece. They've got, again, modern lighting pendants here. You could even do something even more dramatic, make it go down longer, but like this in the center of the home is a show-stopping piece. Now that we're upstairs, we've got plenty more space up here, but what I think is really, really cool about this area is they went with a little bit of a different feel, right? So they're the current owners were gonna move to Texas. They're not from Texas and they wanted to get that Texas feel. So you'll notice that they've changed the selections up here. We've got this beautiful Texas style cultured stone right here, different colors. We've got more darker woods coming in here to really get like that warm, Texas vibe. So up here, I would use this entire room probably as a game area. This space as well. So we've got the fireplace downstairs. The linear fireplace comes all the way up into this second story too. So this is a perfect space to put your pool table, your foosball table, um, even kind of any other little gaming ping pong type of stuff. We've got plenty of space in here. You could also use this, you know, obviously you're gonna put a TV. We always have TVs in like every single room, but this upstairs has a very, very oversized media room. So let's go take a look at that really quick. So stepping into this media room, this is huge. So you can fit a lot of seating. You can even add kind of like a stadium style seating if you wanted to, there's plenty of room for that. We do have windows here, so you'd wanna add some window treatments to make it really, really dark in here, but plenty of space. You could throw your projector down from the ceiling here. This is already pre-wired with surround sound. I didn't mention that before, but we are pre-wired in this room. We are also pre-wired in the game room. And then this carpet that I'm standing on is top of the line. It is so plush, it's like extra thick padding here. It's hand dyed. This is the top of the line carpet that you can get. So like I mentioned earlier, this house, while Grand Homes builds a standard house beautifully anyways, they picked all of the top of the line upgrades here. So this carpet being one of them, I really, really love it. Like I have heels on, but I can feel how soft it is under my feet. And then off to the right of the house, we've got two more bedrooms. I'm only gonna show you one of these bedrooms because they are very similar in size. But what I really love is that on the second floor, we are still getting extremely, extremely high ceilings. So we've got about 10 plus foot ceilings downstairs. I wanna say it's significantly more than 10 feet, but this room is probably 10 feet as well. So really, really, really high ceilings. This isn't something that you're gonna see in a second floor. Um, so this is unique to this house. So I really wanted to point that out. Again, we've got a bathroom right here as well, full bath, full shower, vessel sink, delta faucet, and the tile. Again, they chose to put tile all the way around, not just in the shower, but all the way around the room. So that's not something standard that you're gonna see. So I really wanna make sure you, I point that out to you guys. So before we go downstairs, I just wanna show you, like you have this open space here, you get so much natural light coming in, and you can see your backyard. So let's go talk about what you, the potential is backyard. Let's go. All right, so I got a little tongue tied back there, but the backyard potential is what I'm trying to show you all. So back here, we have already got it set up for gas right here. And then we also have hot and cold water connections too. So hot and cold, that's something that you're not gonna see standard. And this to me is the real winner here because this is a really premier lot. You're not backing up to anything. So where these trees are back here is actually a creek. People are not gonna build here, okay? So you are always gonna have this privacy in your backyard. And while it is deceiving how big 
big yards are, I promise you there's plenty of space to build this outdoor kitchen and there's plenty of space to have a pool. And just think, no one's ever gonna be behind you. You're always gonna have this backyard privacy. So that to me is one of the things that I love the most. That's a reason why I would like this lot and I know that's the reason why they selected it. And then before we're done, I've got a little surprise in the garage that I didn't show you all before. But a lot of us now obviously are driving electric vehicles. This garage has two electric vehicle charging stations. So for a Tesla or whatever kind of car you drive, both of you can have plug-ins in the garage. So that's something really great. So let's go out front and I will just give you another little rundown of this house, what it's listed for and how you can make it yours. All right, that is wrapping up our home tour. Again, we are in wonderful McKinney, Texas. This home is 4,487 square feet, 2022 build. The subdivision we're in is Lake Forest and Michelle Gao is listing agent. We are listed at 1229 and I gotta correct myself earlier. I told you guys it was only four bedrooms. This is five bedrooms and I showed you five bedrooms. So I apologize for that. But this beautiful home, again, 1229 in McKinney, Texas. All of Michelle's information is below. She's a listing agent, but you can always contact me as well if you have any questions. And if you have no idea where McKinney is and you want to know more about McKinney, then make sure you subscribe because that's coming up next week. So can't wait for you guys to watch.